Gauteng is fast becoming Africa's first globally competitive city region with world-class facilities. From state-of-the-art conference venues to global exhibition facilities, you will find it all in one place, Gauteng. Sparked by the discovery of gold in 1886, Gauteng's status as the economic hub and melting pot of cultures continues to shine on in the 21st century. Despite high levels of immigration and a growing population, unemployment in Gauteng has dropped from 30.4 to 22.8% as a result of sound economic policies embraced by Gauteng. Acceleration of economic growth and economic participation remains a top priority for the development of Gauteng as a global city region. Gauteng has the largest inland port in Africa, which means despite being landlocked, this region is accessible to harbors and open to international trade. There are well-established roads and transport infrastructure, which allows for convenient and easy cross-border trade with the rest of Africa. Not surprisingly, sporting facilities in Gauteng rate amongst the best in the world. After all, this is the home of champions, where big world events have been successfully staged before, and where the biggest sport event in the world, the 2010 World Cup, will be staged, with more big sport events to come. Gauteng is also the international broadcast capital with state-of-the-art facilities, allowing news agencies to connect with audiences around the world. With Gauteng being the hub of economic activity, it is not surprising that over 70 international banks have chosen Gauteng as a perfect place to conduct business from. As you'd expect from a place that is fast becoming a global city region, Gauteng also boasts the most prestigious academic and research institutions in Africa and the world. Most remarkably, Gauteng is also where it all started, the birthplace of humankind. Now, what makes the smallest province in South Africa so big? <laughs> 